Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have been using a Mac computer from late 2008 onwards and Mac is my main computer with which I do all my work and I've got a lot, uh, quite a few questions from you guys. What are the softwares that I use on my Mac to get my work done? So in this video, I'll be showing you all the paid softwares that I've been using on my Mac. So this is my Mac computer, a MacBook Pro 15 inch. And first let's start with the video editing software that I'm currently using. And if you have been following me, it's not a surprise. I use this Final Cut Pro, uh, which I uh, purchased actually in about 2012. It was launched in 2011 and uh, I paid $300 for it and I feel it's completely worth. Uh, in fact, from 2012, it has got three major updates and I didn't even have to pay any additional fee, which is really surprising. And prior to using this Final Cut Pro, I was using the iMovie software, which actually comes free with the Mac. In fact, I edited all my videos for the first two years with the free software that was iMovie. So this is the Final Cut Pro that I use for video editing and it's uh, for 300 US dollars. Uh, the next software that I uh, actually use quite a bit is known as ScreenFlow. Actually, uh, the recording that you're seeing, the screen recording is being done with that software itself. This is the software uh, right now. You can't open it because it's actually being used. And I use this for screen recording. It's known as ScreenFlow. And I must have purchased this again in 2011 or 2012. I'm using the old version, uh, still the version three, but it works for me and it costed $99 when I purchased it. Uh, next software that I use a lot, uh, this is the bar that you see. This is a little bit different if you notice from a traditional Mac bar. I get this using the iStats menu and it's a paid utility, I would say. And as you can see, I can directly see the temperatures. I don't have to open any other software. Real time, I can even monitor the network bandwidth if I'm downloading something or something is sluggish. I immediately come to know that. You can also monitor the memory and stuff. So it's a very handy tool in my opinion. And again, this was sort of a paid software. I think so it retails for about $18. Uh, it's not necessary, but I do like these stats. At a glance, I get to know how is the system performing. Next paid app that I use a lot is known as uh, Little Snitch and uh, this is the app uh, and it's sort of a firewall I would say and uh, it gives me an idea what is the network activity that is going on and I think so uh, it's a little bit on the expensive side uh, if you are a networking guy you'll appreciate it uh, sort of a advanced uh, uh, firewall which gives you an idea what is happening with your system and this is for about 39 US dollars. The next paid software that I recently started using about one and a half years was due to live Q&A and uh, it's a webcam software. Uh, this is the software that is known as webcam settings and this is the icon for that software and uh, uh, basically you can tweak your webcam. Uh, you can adjust the saturation stuff and all those things. For example, this is for my cam and I have made profiles for the Q&A and stuff. So it loads it. So you can adjust fine tune the white balance, uh, etc. with this. You have advanced parameters. Uh, yeah, Logitech also provides a uh, software, but this one actually does uh, allow me to fine tune it as I like. And uh, this is not that expensive. This was for about eight uh, US dollars. The next software that I use, and this is not uh, necessary, I would say this is a password manager that I use that is known as, uh, what do you say, uh, one password. For example, I'm logged on to my account uh, let's just sign out. And uh, these days we have so many websites and it's a very bad idea to use the same password in all the sites. And for my password manager, I just use this uh, one that is known as one password. And I have to just enter my master password and it unlocks. And now I just need to click and it will fill in my details. And this has been working perfectly for me for the last couple of years. In fact, now I've also uh, purchased the Windows license for the same. Yes, there are other free utilities available that provides the same functionality, uh, but I like the ease of use and it, it's now actually multi-platform. Now moving to the next software uh, that I actually uh, used to use a lot is known as text expander. For example, let's say I want to type my signature. I just give this shortcut and you get the signature. Uh, for example, I won't show you my current address, but also I have a, a shortcut for address and shows you the address. So you can have any snippet like this and it's really handy. And I use this a 
a lot and it's known as text expander here, here is the software you can easily create your shortcuts over here and the uh, whatever shortcut word over here so whenever you type uh, for example that shortcut it just types in the text this was around 39 dollars uh, and i actually use this a lot and apart from this i also have uh, photoshop cs4 it's a very old version i think so i purchased it in 2009 uh, for some client work but i never upgraded or purchased the new versions because i no longer do professional uh, what do you say image editing and it still works for me for my basic work i still use this old version of photoshop for creating the thumbnails that you see on my youtube channel so it's getting the job done but if it stops working i might just move to a free utility like gimp or something else so apart from this i also have license for uh, parallels uh, virtualization software i no longer use that a lot but i have a license for that also so these are some of the softwares that i use on my mac to get my work done again guys thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video